Okay, so it's a couple weeks later, and uh, what I did was I um, put this whole thing together, and come to find out, it wouldn't focus. It was um, the wrong focal plane. The lens was the wrong distance from the from the sensor, so it would not focus. It was too far away from the sensor. So uh, what I did is I put that old thing, lens back together, and it's all set to go again. And I went on eBay, and I bought one of those uh, screw mount, the Pentax K mount adapters. Uh, the one I bought was uh, $7.63 or something like that. And no tools to get in on and off, and I'll show it to you here. Here it is. Um, this little slot here, the um, catch on the camera uh, knocks into that slot, the pin, so it locks it in place. But you don't even have to put it on all the way, and you won't have to worry about that. You just put, kind of put a you know, a knife or whatever and push that little pin down. So, what I also did was, on my lens, let me unscrew this, is the piece from the camera that I cannibalized, and this had all jagged edges on it. I could probably see it on the, the clip before this. And I took a piece of sandpaper and put it flat on the, um, the table, and just kind of scrubbed it until it went all flat like this. Uh, that black line has a sharpie line, so when I put, when I glue this on like this, I can get it somewhat centered. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, I'm going to scuff up the surface, and I'm going to glue it like this. Okay? So that will be the lens mount, I guess you could call it, and then I will take the lens itself and screw it on. And then, of course, when I screw it and unscrew it, it'll bring this back and forth away from the... Uh, the sensor and it will focus it. So uh, that's it and this is what I'm going to use for a glue. It's uh, silicone adhesive. This is from something is in a junk drawer but I know that this is just plain old silicone adhesive and instead of me breaking open a big breaking open a big long tube I'm just going to use up this little bit of stuff I have. So I'll glue this up and um, see what happens. Okay, so here's the um, the lens all mounted on this camera. Uh, as you can see, this um, ring um, is a, is a is a Pentax screw mount to K mount adapter. Um, it's just glued on. As you can see there. That's all. It's just some some silicone glue, just glued on. And now that little notch right there engages the the locking pin on the lens mount on the camera. Um, so if I if I rotate that all away and that pin pops through, you just need to use a um, you know the tip of a, a pen or something to push that spring loaded pin back in. And you can just spin that off. So the only thing with this is um, the pictures aren't sucky enough, if that makes sense. Uh, the whole point of having a Holga is nice, soft images, kind of dreamy, distorted. Well, one thing that I didn't think of when I did this is this lens is for a uh, medium format. Holgas are 120 film, which is a good size piece of film it's obviously much bigger than 35 millimeter and it's way way bigger than the chip in this Pentax which is um, smaller than 35 millimeter this is obviously not a, a full frame digital camera it has a much smaller chip so when people do this um, like myself I didn't realize that the sharpest area of this lens is obviously in the middle and it's projecting an image on this sensor which is in the middle of this focal plane I guess you could say so the pictures from this lens are clear they, they, they're, they're, they're sharp believe it or not and they're not crappy <laughs> to, to say the least um, they're not perfect um, but they're not crappy Holga like dreamy pictures 
um, because where the focus falls off and they get soft on the edges on medium format um, it's not projecting the image on the, the the sensor out out that far it's a very small area so it, the pictures are sharp so what I did is um, you know you can take things like Vaseline and you can smear a little bit on the lens but that gets you know kinda kinda messy so what I actually did is I took a pencil eraser and I kinda because a pencil eraser has you know a little tiny bit of grit and I kinda went in a circular motion around the edge trying to get some some sort of softness on the edges and boy you're gonna I gotta do quite a bit of playing around and adjusting it so basically I'm gonna make this lens I don't know scratched up or distorted uh, maybe I'll take a blowtorch to it and melt it a little bit here and there but basically I'm gonna have to work this lens because it is way too sharp as is and I did all this goofing around destroyed a perfectly good Holga cannibalize this lens for sharp pictures which is obviously not what I'm what I'm after so I'm gonna goof around with this a little more and um, if I um, if I do get some good results after essentially destroying this lens and get it where I want it, I'll post some some images, some photos. But I just wanted to give a little uh, tutorial on how I mounted this Holga lens to my Pentax and why it's pointless if you're looking for Holga images on digital directly from the lens that you have. In other words, if you have a crappy lens on your Holga, it's probably going to be sharp on this um, uh, Pentax. Even if I Pentax does come out with a full frame, I, I don't even know if the K7 is full frame. I, I don't think it is. I still think these images are pretty would be pretty sharp because, like I said, this lens is optimized to project onto medium format. It might have something to do with the focal plane, but the focal plane on a, a Holga is not too far off from this one, so I think it's the, the design of the lens that uh, dictates the coverage. And um, the center is the sharpest part of a Holga image, and boy, it's sharp as hell on this one, so as far as a plastic lens can go. So, anyway, just a little bit of information and a little bit of um, a little tutorial on how I did it. And by the way, the focal plane on this is perfect. When I ground that base down, like you saw in the other video, dead flat and glued it onto this this um, adapter, the focal plane is is pretty good. I can actually focus kind of far, you know, infinity and get some close focus by turning that the lens on those threads on those uh, on that mount. So uh, that's the correct focal plane, and I'm happy about that at least. So. Alright, thanks a lot for watching.